on YouTube. You already know who it is. Back at it with a brand new video for you guys today. And no, this is not a reaction video. This is a another one of my Let's Talk videos. So, I don't know if you heard uh, about this country artist, um, Morgan Wallen. I've never heard of him. And, and, you know, I don't listen to country music. So, obviously, I probably wouldn't know. Um, I mean, you hear about certain people, but I just never heard of him. Anyway, he's in a little bit of some heat because... Um, Yesterday, well, on the, this was reported on the 2nd from TMZ, um, Morgan Wallen hurls inward after Rowdy Knight out apologizes, I promise to do better. But that's not the, um, the whole foolishness of this whole situation because this is not surprising. I mean, he is a country artist. I'm not trying to say all country artists are on that but you know i'm sure there is a majority of them anyway let's check this article out. i'll leave the link in the description if you want to read it yourself and see the video i, I would play it but you know i don't want to i ain't trying to get copywritten or nothing like that because this is from tmz and they are pretty big so oh lord i'm dropping the phone it says morgan wallen returned home sunday from a rowdy night with friends and as he walked up his driveway he hurled the n-word other excuse me, and other profanities, is all on video and Wallen is remorseful. Hmm. The country star and a group of buddies had just spent a night out in Nashville. Go figure. When they arrived at Morgan's home around midnight, they were extremely loud, honking horns and talking loudly. Loud enough to piss off neighbors. I know I wouldn't want to hear that shit either. One of the neighbors began recording the antics. As Morgan appears to stumble toward his house, he tells someone to watch over a guy in his group. He says, and I quote, take care of this pussy ass motherfucker, end quote. And then goes on to say, and I quote, take care of this pussy ass nigger, end quote, before finally heading in. Okay, video from a neighbor's doorbell cam shows the scene before Morgan hurled the profanities and racial epithet, and it's apparent why neighbors looked outside. The video was recorded Monday morning, again by the same neighbor, more clearly showing Morgan as he left his home with a friend. As for Sunday, it's unclear exactly where Morgan went, but we do know he made at least one stop at Luke Bryan's restaurant, 32 Bridge, where he jumped on stage for a quick performance. This is just the latest incident with Morgan. You'll recall days before he was slated to appear on Saturday Night Live, video surfaced of him partying it up in a bar with a ma without a mask excuse me, and interacting and kissing several women. Coronavirus. He was axed from the SNL show, but given another chance a few weeks later, of course. Privilege, folks. <laughs> Wallen tells TMZ, I'm embarrassed and sorry. Oh, excuse me, and I quote, I'm embarrassed and sorry. I used an unacceptable and inappropriate racial slur that I wish I could take back. There are no excuses to use this type of language ever. You think so, Mr. Wallen? I want to sincerely apologize for using the word. I promise to do better. End quote. Okay? And just when you thought that was enough of the foolishness, no. That's not it. That's not all. So, mind you, for my black brothers and sisters, okay? Shout out to us all. Because I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black into black. And I'm black, y'all. No. That's not enough of the foolery. Morgan Wallen, NAACP Nashville, uh, extends Olive Branch, wants to educate him. <laughs> oh, if you go to the Shade Room right now, um, you will see this foolishness during Black History Month. Here we go. NAACP extends invite, an invite to country singer Morgan Wallen to educate him, to educate him on his use of the N-word in recent viral video. So, if you don't mind, I'll leave this link in the description. Uh, however, I will, um, I'm going to read this for you guys. So, it says, whether or not you're familiar with the country music singer, I mean, well, excuse me. Whether or not you're familiar with the country music world right now, if its biggest stars is in hot water for using the word, the N-word, excuse me, in a now viral video. 
Morgan Wallen is losing big time after he was recorded by a neighbor saying the N-word as he returned home from a night out in Nashville. Wallen has made his apologies, but the disgrace, disgrace, shout out to Lion King too, but the disgraced singer has been denounced by the country music industry and for, well, for his use of the racial slur. He's been called out by his country music peers, had his music pulled from the airways and was disqualified. Okay, like this was a damn game or something from the 2021 ACM Awards. Just to list a few examples of the fallout he's experienced. Ooh, child. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, but apparently there's one group who's willing to give Wallen the chance. Of course, Cheryl. I want y'all to know her name. Cheryl Gwynn, president of NAACP Nashville, of course. I wonder what the hell does she look like? Told TMZ that to her, it seems Wallen is oblivious to the white supremacy that exists in this country. And she liked the opportunity to educate him. What does oblivious mean, you might ask? Let's check it on out. Because I'd be damned if this word means somebody don't know something. Because, oh, Wa Morgan Wallen, oh, he know what the hell kind of privilege he got. Oblivious, unmindful, unconscious, unaware, forgetful. Sounds similar to not knowing in a way. Um, unaware. An example of being unaware Say, for instance, oh, I don't know, you may be strolling through a park that you never, that you're not used to going to, and you are unaware of the beware signs of a, of mountain lions and grizzly bears in Canon in this um type of park, or shall I say mountain or something like that. You are unaware of that. You are unaware that um Michael Myers could be standing right behind you right now. You are unaware of... That, yes, you may have said this N-word, but you are unaware. Y'all, I am so sorry. That just creeped me the hell out. That picture over there, way right here. This is a Harley Quinn framed poster. And for a split second, it looked like a girl or something standing in the dress. I don't... Anyway, yeah, you are unaware that, yes, you may have said this N-word, but you are unaware that this black person that you just called that is about to drop your ass. But that's for another conversation. But anyway, this is what that's what she said. Wallen is oblivious. He is unaware to the white supremacy that, that exists in this country, and she liked the opportunity to educate him. Matter of fact, y'all, I'm going to look up her ass right now because I don't know what the hell she look like any damn way. This black woman is literally defending this white man and trying to educate him because he is unaware of the white privilege that he knows he has. I refuse to believe that because that's why he went on and said that dumb ass shit about pussy ass niggers. Okay, but let's read the rest of this shit. Gwen said Wallen apologizing is a good start, but it doesn't mean much if he chooses not to work on the issue that led him to dropping the racial slur, excuse me, the racial slur so casually. He was in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm sure there's been a lot of racial incidents way before his time. I'm sure of it. Anyway, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. Gwen added, some people are under the impression they can use the N-word if they think it's not being used in an offensive manner. But if the fallout for Wallen isn't proof enough, then it's obvious that's not the case. Gwen says the word needs to be removed from everyone's vocabulary. That's not going to happen. Even if they're just talking to family or in Wallace's case with his friends. The plan is for NAACP Nashville to invite Wallen to have a conversation about what went down and help him learn why his actions are hurtful. Gwen said the meeting would not be a meeting. Anyway, Gwen said the meeting would not be about condemnation, but instead about love. Oh, my God. She added that she'd be willing to meet with Wallen privately or in a group setting, whatever's more comfortable for him. Oh, make sure this racist, more than likely white man is comfortable. 
because she understands these conversations aren't easy to have. Gwen told TMZ she also believes this could be a huge turning point for Wallen, and he could use his celebrity status for something truly progressive and impactful. At a time when racial tensions remain high, you think, Miss Cheryl Gwen, you need your privilege, you need your presidential thing impeached. Hold on. How, how old is this motherfucker? Morgan Wallen. He is 27 years old. Morgan Wallen, born in May 13, 1993. And she talking about whatever's more comfortable for him. He over here calling people pussy ass niggers. And probably didn't drop the N word plenty of times in his life, way before he became a country, a real country singer, a real artist overall. You know, probably didn't say some other racial shit in his lifetime. But yet she wants to make him feel comfortable. He wants she wants to make him this white man, this privileged white man, feel comfortable in a room of black people so he can feel comfortable. Oh, okay. Because she this could be a huge turning point. Something truly pro pro progressive and impactful. All in the month of Black History Month. It's, and it's only it's only February fourth. Why the fuck I can't talk today? Blah, 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 blah. You see, this is why, this is why this stuff keeps going on because black people keep extending invites, keep on inviting motherfuckers to the barbecue and all types of shit like that, having seats at the damn table. When nine times out of the ten, back in the day, and hell, still sometimes in these days, they wouldn't invite, they wouldn't give you no extended invite, they wouldn't let you sit at their tables. They wouldn't invite you to their cookouts. None of that. This is what I'm talking about. And once again, there is a black woman caping for this grown, racist, ignorant white man. And privilege. He know what the hell he doing. She talking about he's unaware because ob oblivious. Let me read that to y'all again. Let me, let me read the definition of oblivious to y'all one more again. Unmindful. That's an adjective for it. Unconscious. Unaware. Usually followed by of uh, or to. She was oblivious of his admiration. Forgetful. Without remembrance or memory. Insensible. He is insensible. Meaning he ain't got no damn sense. His ass was more than likely drunk or whatever anyway. Talking about he was stumbling to his home. Clearly. And I listened to the video. He does sound a little tipsy or a little drunk. You know, I don't drink so I wouldn't know any damn way. But... The bottom line is he said it. He didn't and not he didn't say nigga. You know what I'm saying? On some Mario Judah type shit, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, he used the ER. Okay, the original word, the OG word. But anyway, I have a question with this whole situation. One simple question. Why? And you might be saying, what is she saying why about? What are you talking about? Why, Taylor? And it's not uh why is um Morgan Allen, Morgan Wallen, whatever the fuck his name is. Um, why did he use that word? Why why does he have to be another white person to drop the M bomb? Why does he have to be another potential racist white man? Um, no, that's not why I'm asking why. I'm asking why in twenty twenty one are black people still extending invites to educate a group of people who came up with this word in the first place? We know what the fuck nigger means. We know where the fuck it came from. We know who the fuck came up with the motherfucking word, man. We know who the fuck said it first. And excuse my language, but I just got irritated. Like, this is Black History Month. Okay. Hold on. Because y'all, mm -mm, you got me messed up. This picture alone screams that he done dropped the M-bomb quite a few times in his life. And he's almost 30 years old, talking about he's un, uh, he's oblivious, meaning unaware, okay? Not knowing his of his white privilege. Get thine ass the fuck out of here. Yes, I just got biblical and cussing at the same damn time. Get thine ass the fuck out of here, talking about he don't know what his white privilege is for. He don't know. He don't know about his white privilege. 27 years old. Country music artist. Country. Hey, matter of fact, hold on. Where is he from? Where is he from? 
Oh, he's from Sneedville, Tennessee. I doubt if you'll see a nigger over there, now would you? You may see him in a couple parts of Tennessee, Tennessee, but maybe not Sneedville. I don't even know what a Sneedville is. The fuck? I remember I got an unknown call. I, cause I'm from Chicago originally. You know, I'm from I'm from Illinois, Chicago, Illinois. I'm I'm currently residing in Wisconsin. Um, and one time I got an un, a unknown call from some place called Red, some Illinois. I said, I know the hell I'm not answering that call, cause it's probably some rednecks down there in Red, whatever that was called, somewhere in Illinois. Somebody know what I'm talking about. It started with an R. A R. That's all I know. But the bottom line is, I refuse to believe. Okay. This American country music singer named Morgan Cole Wallen, 27 years old, born in Sneedville, Tennessee. And I'm sure Tennessee has a history of being on some racist ass shit. He's unaware of his white privilege. Get thine ass the fuck out of here. Why are black people still extending in motherfucking vice to a group of people who created this word to discriminate against us from the beginning of time over shit they started. Their forefathers and all, what happened to our ancestors? We was, They was chained up, whipped up, taken advantage of physically, mentally, sexually, spiritually, all that shit. And they came up with that word and they used it like it was a biblical term. They used it like it was a term of endear endearment. Originally, it wasn't. But black people and how we do, we have made it a term of endearment. We, we, was, we, kept, we, we use it. What's up, my niggas? But when they say, sit down, nigger, it's a big difference. It's a big goddamn difference. When a Karen or a Tom pops up out of the way with they MAGA hats on and all. Hmm? With they MAGA hats on and fucking all. And they tell a black person, a black man or a black woman. To sit down, nigger. You don't belong here, nigger. No colors are lie. You know damn well the difference between that and somebody coming up to you that's black. That looks at you and says, what's up, my nigga? I shouldn't have to even say that. And hold on, because y'all seen that, but got January 28th, 2021, a month before Black History Month, we lost one of the greatest black female actresses of all time, Cicely motherfucking Tyson. She was 90, wait, hold on, she was, I think she was 92, I'm going to look the shit up right now, 2021 minus her birth year, 1924, she was nine, she was almost 100 years old, she was 97. And we lost her this past weekend. We lost her this past weekend. And y'all want to wait till Black History Month, the president of the NAACP in Nashville, you want to extend the invite to educate this white privileged man on a word that's been used for years against black people. And still to this day, because let me tell you something, Cheryl Gwynn, president of NAACP Nashville, and you need to be impeached your damn self, okay? Your damn self. Voice cracked and all. Because do you know how many more white people and other groups of non-black people will still use the N-word, whether nigger or nigger? And still be ignorant, talking about some. It needs to be out of everybody' vocabulary. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. Not in this lifetime, honey. Not in this upside down world. Not where this country was built off of our ancestors' backs, beaten backs, backs full of welts and bruises and cuts and scars and scabs and all types of shit like that. Where they was more than likely minding their business down there in Africa. Just like the in the Native Americans, they got their land stolen. Talking about some Columbus short. What? This is the problem. Black people always want to be Captain Save a Hope. This man know what the fuck he was doing. He know the he know the meaning of that word. Hence why he used the er. He and even if he said nigga, it it still wouldn't it still would be the same thing. 
Why are black people educating white people, the peop the originators of that word, educating them on the use of it? For what? It should be non-ignorant, non-racist white people educating the ignorant racist white people on that word and why they should stop using it. But a lot of them figure if black people, if we constantly call each other that, why the hell we can't say it? Because And y'all know why. Y'all just want to sit up here and try to pull the race car and pull the victim car. You know what that word originally meant and what it still means. You still got white people saying nigger. You still got other groups of non-black people saying nigger or nigger. Nigger. Like, what the fuck? You got a problem with that nigger? Come on. Why are black people educating motherfuckers who created this word, the, the term of it and all that, and educate? Why? It should be other white people who know of their privilege, who know that racism started with them. The white people who aren't with that, y'all should be educating the ignorant racist white people out there and anybody else that ain't black. And that are racist and ignorant as hell. Y'all should be educating them on the, the term of the N-word. The use of the N-word. Because like I said, do you know how many more white people, whether famous or not, that will still use the N-word? Whether they in front of black people or not? They will look at a black dog and probably call him a nigga? Why are black people... Why Why are we trying to educate? Then you have this black female country artist. I think her name is Mickey Guyton. And basically she was saying, you know, she don't believe in cancel culture. But she was also saying, before I get to that part, she had went on to say on Twitter, like, you know, she know what it is in the country music industry. Mind you, she's a black female country artist. So she know what's up. And I'm sure that she has faced some racial discrimination in her time. You know, especially, like I say, she is a black woman being into the country music business, all that. But she went on to say, you know, she don't believe in cancel culture and, you know, this whole thing. It could, you know, mess up somebody's mental and all that. I can agree with that because I feel like cancel culture isn't real either because, like I say, somebody could say some dumb shit right now. And then a couple minutes later, they come out with a new song, everybody bopping their heads to a new movie, something like that. And people going to watch it. There's examples of that from Chris Brown, the Tory Lanez. Uh, Michael B. Jordan, and so many other people. You know, people talking about some such and such is canceled. You can't really, you can't, you, to be honest, though, you really, really can't cancel somebody. Like, there's not a cancel box, and you could put people in there, and they will never be seen again. It just don't work like that. You don't have to support them, though. You don't have to support their music, um, their movies, whatever they do in that industry, you know, of Hollywood, Hollyweird, whatever. You don't have to support them, but you can't really cancel somebody because this person is still going to have supporters, you know, not just their fans, but their family, friends, all that type of stuff. You can't really do it. But the bottom line is, the point I'm trying to say, I am tired of black people trying to put on this cape to try to baby white people on shit they should know already. This is 2021. Slavery was lifetimes ago, and we know Okay, we know enough to know that the N word was not was never a nice word towards us. They created the word. They used that word against us. And black, I say how black people cooperate and coordinate. You got to coordinate. Shout out to Pops, R.I.P. John Witherspoon. We use that word as a term of endearment. What's up, my nigga? What up, nigga? You my nigga, though. And like I said, this being Black History Month, this is only February 4th. And you have the president of the NAACP in Nashville, Cheryl Gwynn, trying to educate him and saying this could be, with him having a celebrity status and all, this could be something big for him and all type of stuff. What? And talking about we could have a private meeting or a room uh, full of people and where he whatever he feels most comfortable with. He wasn't worrying about black people being comfortable. Okay. And clearly it must have been somebody black in that, that whole situation. Maybe, maybe not. But the bottom line is he wasn't worried about nobody being comfortable with his drunk, privileged ass that night. Okay. Black people. Put the motherfucking cape down. Okay. 
this is the problem now. Always got to bend over. And then it would be a black woman, two black women to sit up here and defend this white man for this racist ass bullshit. Burn thine cape. Save thine selves. Okay? We got way more important shit to worry about than damn Morgan Wallen dropping the M-bomb. And this is not surprising. He's from Sneed. Hold on. What? Wait a minute. 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 Oh, look. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. Okay? Morgan Wallen. Morgan Cole Wallen. He's from Sneedville, Tennessee. Go figure. That's all I need to know. Because I doubt that there is one black person in Sneedville, Tennessee. Get thine ass the fuck out of here. That's all you got to know. Matter of fact, let me, let me look up another picture. This man got a mullet and all. And he looked like he from one of them old country ass redneck places. Well, you know it's going to be some country white folks. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. If you get offended, oh well. Because y'all always going to try to say somebody try to be racist. It ain't being racist. I'm being real. Look at his picture. He looks like a lumberjack. Okay? Country as a motherfucker. Why? Hold on. This is, and this is Mickey. No, that's Saweetie. I think that's, yeah, I think this is Mickey Guyton right here. The girl to the left, to your left. Um, you know, she looked like she might be mixed. I don't know. I never heard of her. I've never seen her before. But the bottom line, look at, the, look at this picture. This man is country. He's from Sneedville, Tennessee. I ain't never heard of Sneedville. I heard of Nashville. I heard of Memphis. But not no damn Sneedville. The bottom line is black people, we ain't got no business educating a group of people who came up with this word in the first place. Sit your asses down. And let's be let's be more appreciative of Black History Month. Every damn Black History Month is some ignorant shit going on. I forgot what happened last year or the year before. It was just some ignorant ass shit going on, you know. Um but like I say, this is too this once again, this is what happens when black people invite motherfuckers to the barbecue. Non-black motherfuckers. They want to sit up in here and eat all, all your food. Focus. Focus. They want to sit up here and eat all your food. Eat all the, the bat ribs and the bat fat and the turnips and the cornbread. What else they got they be having in barbecues? Corn on the cob. Sodi pop. The salads. The fucking potato salads. All the desserts and shit. The brats. The fucking hot dogs, hamburgers, everything that you can have at a fucking barbecue, right? But is they going to be there to help you clean that shit up? Hell to the no. Shout out to Whitney Houston. Hell to the no. They want to sit up here and embrace what y'all got going on. This culture that we have. Especially when it comes to a barbecue with black people. They want to sit up here and embrace all that. Eat the food and shit. But they ain't here to help clean this shit up. No. They not finna do that. And this brings me back to Miss Kiki motherfucking Y, okay? Kiki Y, let me get on your ass real quick, all right? You have a beautiful voice, all that, but your white side, which is your mama, because your, your mama is white, your daddy's black, okay? She went on to basically All Lives Matter Black People, I think, last week as well. I don't know if it was on Clubhouse or something. What's his name? Christopher... Milan, oh, is it Milan Christopher? Hold on, because I follow him. You know, the beautiful chocolate man. Um, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you, just like I have, I remember seeing him on Love and Hip Hop them years ago. He was like in a, you know, first gay couple and stuff. That's where a lot of us remember him from. Um, you know, beautiful chocolate man that he is. And basically, they were talking about black people and the struggles that we still are going through today. And pretty much Kiki Wyatt tried to say, tried to sit up here and all lives matter. Us talking about some black people ain't the only ones that been through something. And she went on to talk about her being biracial and all this. Talking about nigga this, nigga that. And I even think she even said nigger. You see, that was her white side popping out. And basically, she was trying to say biracial people have been done wrong. She said black people, she had to say that first. Black people have done wrong to biracial people and then white people. And, you know, 
if that's the case, why would it be a whole bunch of niggas with light skinned women, whether they were black or mixed? Think about it. Girl, bye. Anyway, this is just some straight foolery. foolery. Straight foolery. I'm over it. But I still stand on that black people should not be educating white people, the originators of the word itself, in the N word itself, on um, the use of it, what it means, and why you shouldn't say it. Because they are the ones who came up with it. And like I say, for the white people that do care about others, others than themselves, the ones that aren't racist, that aren't ignorant, that aren't prejudiced, that aren't collecting MAGA hats in their, in their homes and all that, that don't have Confederate flags sitting around in their house or in their car, that aren't screaming white power, that don't have a sheet somewhere in their house with eyes to cover it and carry it with a hood, burning crosses, talking about God is mad. Shout out to y'all because y'all should be the ones educating those that are on that bullshit. Yes, this video was a little long, but I got my point across. And if you have any thoughts on this situation, if you heard about it, Mr. Morgan Wallen, I low key got mad because my stupid ass teeth, I just bit my damn gums and shit right here. But you guys let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. And black people specifically, let me ask y'all, do you think we in 2021, let alone if we can get there in 2050, okay, should we still be educating white people on the N-word when they're the ones who came up with that word to begin with? Answer me that question. And it would surprise me if a lot of y'all would sit here and say, yeah. But I wouldn't be that surprised because a lot of you all, you have self-hate issues within yourself. Hence why colorism is a real thing and everything else as, as such. Anti-blackness is a thing. And I'm not the only one who said it. So you guys let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. And would you sit up here and educate somebody, um, a group of people who came up with such a thing? You guys, I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Don't be afraid. Let me know what you feel about it. If you disagree with me, oh well, you can go ahead and dis hit the dislike button. I appreciate it. That's fine. But everybody else, let me know your thoughts. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on my Instagram. Hit that notification bell so you guys don't have to be unloaded. And uh, thank you all for watching. If you made it to the end, hit the like button just along for that. Happy Black History Month. Don't We don't need no more ignorance going on. And stop extending invites. Because more than likely, we would not get the same. Not in this type of world. No. Thanks for watching. It's Taylor Rain.